It's been three years and I still have my dreadlocks. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm excited to share with you my three year dread lock anniversary. Do we call it dread anniversary? Lock anniversary? I'm not quite sure, you can tell me, but it's been three years um, as of yesterday since my dreadlocks were started, and you can tell I still have them. They've grown quite a bit, and just wanted to show you what my dreadlocks look like three years after being started. So before I give you a tour of my dreadlocks and all of my hair, I wanted to mention a little bit about my experience in the last um, year or two with having dreadlocks. It's been three years and my dreadlocks have grown quite a bit since my very first video. They have really started maturing probably around the two year mark. Your dreadlocks, or at least for me, they looked terrible for about a year. And I feel like that is a very common statement that I've heard a lot um, from people with dreadlocks. That first year is hard. You have to really ride out a lot of the loops and shrinkage and just looking a mess. Um, what I chose to do was I would pull it back, pull my hair back a lot. I think probably for the first two years I just only wore my hair back because I really wasn't comfortable with it down yet. And I remember the very first time that I wore my hair down out in public, I took a picture, I think I was in the Starbucks um, bathroom, I took a picture and I posted it to my social media because it was a really um, exciting experience to have it down for the very first time. I still really, really love my dreadlocks. Um, I get maintenance done. It hasn't been as much as it was initially, mostly because of the pandemic. I would have gotten maintenance done more often if we weren't you know, asked to stay home and keep everyone safe and the salons hadn't shut down for a period of time. But the last maintenance I got was in December 2020. So it's been several months since my last maintenance and you'll see um, all the loose hairs that I, I have currently um, on my head. And if you're interested about the maintenance or maintenance process, I'm happy to um, do a specific video just for that. Just leave a comment down below. I have another video on my channel of the very first maintenance I received, which I will link here. Um, but it's a little bit different now that my dreadlocks are mature and long and everything like that. So let me know. Another thing that has changed is I, I have decorated my dreadlocks. You'll see I have some beads um, basically in my hair and I always knew that I wanted to decorate them. I wasn't quite sure exactly how I wanted to do that but I chose to do wooden beads um, and I have some that are colored like this and I have some that are pretty big and long like this and I really, really love them. They can move around on my dreadlock, as you can see. I can move them around, or if I wash my hair, when I wash my hair, not if, because we do wash our dreadlocks regularly, but when I wash my hair, I can move them around to make sure there's no moisture being trapped under the bead. So then the last thing is just, I just wanted to show you how I wear my hair um, kind of on a regular basis. This has kind of been my, my vibe where it is pulled back um, it's tied off in the back and then I just have a um, headband on my head. I'll show you kind of the back side of my hair. But you see I have a, a tie, knot, and then my headband. But most of the time I'll like pull them forward because um, you know I don't necessarily want to like lay on them or sit on them when I'm at my desk in the car or you know, going to sleep. So most of the time I pull them forward like this, um, or like this, and I just love them. I just love the way it looks. So let me, let me show you, um, well, what they look like.
So you can tell I have, you know, I, I have a lot of loose hair. Mostly around my face and the back of my neck, which is pretty common um, when you wear a headband a lot. So the headband kind of rubs against the dreadlocks and encourages hair to kind of come out um, of the dreadlocks. Um, this is all my natural hair. I do not have any extensions in my um, hair at all. I thought about getting extensions for a while, but um, then decided against it. I just never pulled the trigger. And, um, you know, I, I like the way it looks having them all natural. I was just, I was getting really impatient on the, on the growth, which does take some time. It can be um, a test of patience for sure to have uh, dreadlocks. But yeah, I just wanted to show you I have, you know, I have loose hair. Um, it's also like on the top of my head here. So like I said, most of the time I just tie them back. What I do is I just grab two locks and quite literally make a knot. And then I tuck in the ends. It's that easy. I use a headband. <laughs> so please comment down below what your experience has been with your dreadlocks. Are you just getting started? Have you had them for a long time? Um, I'd love to hear any questions that you might have for me, any feedback, and happy to make separate videos um, for those people just getting started because I know how daunting and scary it can be, um, but being on the other side of it, it's also a lot of fun and just awesome. So, bye!